Well, we just got back from watching the latest Uncharted movie, and we are really excited to talk to you about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Salt and Pepper Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the latest Uncharted movie, and is it a great game to movie adaption? Let's go. Well, we love watching movies, and that's it. <laughs> that's great, man. Great. Cool. Great start to the episode. <laughs> what many people want to know, is Uncharted actually a good movie? Is it worth watching? Or should I just leave it behind and just play the game? And in this episode, we want to help you decide. Yeah, to help you decide, we're going to have a look at Salt and Pepper's four must-haves to see if it's a great game to movie adaption. So let's look at number one and let's look at the story. Well, the first must-have is the story. Uh, is it identical to the story of the uh, Uncharted series. We would say yes, as all four games with Nathan Drake as the main character all follow the same sequence of events. Nathan and Sully team up to find a hidden treasure and fighting mercenaries to get it first. In the fourth edition of the Uncharted series, it has a little twist where it brings Nathan's brother Sam along the journey to find hidden treasure. Some would say Uncharted has very similar vibes to Tomb Raider. But does the story of the movie, is it the same as any of these games? The movie has a similar story plot to pretty much all the games where Sully recruits Nathan Drake to find some lost treasure and of course there's mercenaries who will try and stop them and try and get it first. So it has, does have a similar story plot to pretty much all the games. And all the other treasure hunting movies. <laughs> that's, well, that's right too. You first introduce to Sully when he's trying to recruit Nathan Drake while he's working in the bar. So it does feel more of a prequel than I guess a copy from one of the games. So it's great to see Mark Warburg and Tom Holland um, playing the main two characters. They do, I think they do a pretty good job of, of playing these two characters from the game. Yeah. Um, and that leads to our second point, um, the characters. Are the characters the same or the similar to the game? Well, this is where a lot of people are getting upset because Tom Holland is a young guy and Mark Wahlberg is an older guy, but definitely young and they're nothing like the games itself. But like you mentioned, it is a prequel. So they've never met each other before. So um, you, you can't go into this movie expecting him to look like this. <laughs> When it's a prequel, mm -hmm. he's just starting off. Well, some people thought Sully should have been a lot older um, to be similar to the game. There are actually some scenes within the game that actually show Sully meeting Nathan when they're actually younger. So it does actually work having them young within the movie. Yeah, and again, it's a prequel and they want to start the movie series off from the very beginning, which I think is very clever. Let's talk about the characters. You've got Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. Uh, straight away, I thought I'm watching Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> it did feel a little bit like that. It didn't feel like that. But um, you know, as the movie played on, I think uh, Tom Holland did a really good job portraying Nathan. You got the charisma side. You got like you know the charm side of him, which is the goofy side of Nathan Drake, not really knowing what to do. Always getting hit by the enemies and then hitting back. I think they did that well. So there's good comedy within the movie. While it seems like a normal, I guess, treasure hunting movie, it's great to see some comedy. Could you move any slower? I got a bad ankle. I think the director did a really good job in portraying Sully as the older mentor, trying to teach him the ropes. Uh, really funny how he keeps calling him kid the whole time. Kid. You are one piece of work, kid. Kid, and it's just exactly like kid, the game. Kid, kid. He calls him kid. Hey, kid, <laughs> make sure you do this, kid. Just like the game, which is really cool. It's a nice little linkage between them. And of course, there's a love interest within the movie. Like all the games, there's a love interest. So it's great to see Sophia playing Chloe, uh, who's actually in Uncharted number two and number three and is the main protagonist in The Lost Legacy. So it's great to see the connection uh, from the movie to the game. That's cool. Uh, you know, the bad guys have done well, and Tony Banderas Much more just fun. rocks at being one of those guys, the mercenaries, and um, the rest of the crew. Well, Look. there's two technical villains. Hey, you watch the movie. <laughs> Don't spoil it. Just watch the movie. It's pretty cool. Uh, well, that's going to look at number three, iconic moments. Does it feel like Uncharted? Or am I just watching National Treasures? I refuse to believe that. Uh, what's this this movie apart from all the others? Others. So the main things we could all remember from playing the game is you know jumping from ledge to the ledge, climbing, all that kind of stuff when Whee! you're having to get from A to B. Ah, this the main this part movie, of it. I guess. Yes, it has hints of it. But again, so, he's starting off. Remember, yeah. he's new at this, right? So we're trying to find some moments within the movie that we kind of say, oh yeah, that's like the game. And there's only far and few in between yeah. where you can see him hanging off a ledge. So some of the cool scenes from the movie that you can relate is definitely the iconic plane 
a moment where he's grappling onto the baggage handlers and then, you know, jumping, and it's like the most unrealistic scene ever. But because you can do it in the game, it makes sense to add it in the movie. Because mm. while you're playing the game, you're like, how the heck am I even doing this? Like another another part of the movie that plays homage to the games is um, at the start of the movie, there's a, there's a cool flashback scene where uh, I guess it builds the story between Nathan and Sam, his brother, and how they're in the orphanage. And if you've played A Thief's End, uh, very, very similar how Sam has to run away. Uh, it's kind of very similar. So so we, we're happy that that happens. It sets up the movie and obviously sets up for a future series. No spoilers, but there you go. <laughs> and it wouldn't be an Uncharted movie if it didn't have some puzzles to solve to try and find some oh, hidden okay, cave or some hidden entrance track. to the treasure. Yeah, that was so cool. it's great to see that this movie has that, it has, I guess, quite a lot. It has good. the iconic journal. Remember the journal? Yeah, that's right. Even things like having the journal is pretty good yeah, too. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I like that. There's a lot of moments. Uh, there's one scene, I'm not going to spoil it, where you're like, man, he's just not Nathan Drake. He's just not Nathan Drake. And then near the end of the movie... You see him become full Nathan Drake as he gets the holsters on. There's actually a scene in one of the trailers that's actually not in the movie. It's actually when um, Sully actually has a moustache. Um, hey, and I guess they kind of, Tom Holland pays him out for it. What is that thing on your face? But it just tries to make him look a bit more like Sully from the game. But they didn't know that, Which did is, they? yeah, interesting that it's not in the movie, it's in but the movie. it's in the trailer. So I guess they were trying to make it like the game too in that regard. So let's look at number four. Can you watch this as a standalone movie? I think that's very important because a lot of people won't be playing uh, Uncharted who want to watch it. Just a good adventure movie. And being a prequel actually opens the door for anyone who hasn't played Uncharted to be able to watch this movie for the first time. It's a very good treasure hunting, adventure, exciting movie. The casting's done well, it's funny, some great action moment. It does link a lot, pay homage to the game Uncharted but it could have been better, is all we're saying. Yeah. Anyways, hope this have helped you make a decision. If you're gonna watch it, if you have watched it, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the movie. Is it a great game to movie adaption? Um, why don't you check out these two videos where we have a look at Mortal Kombat and the old school Mario movie and see are they great game to movie adaptions. I was doing that because you do that. And now we <laughs> want to say thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share it. We love you, we appreciate you. And until next time, don't cut this out. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> he always cuts out my p